Ah, uh, there you have Joy Behar went right after Republican Senator Rick Scott. Tim Scott. Tim Scott. RNC National Spokesperson Paris Denard joins us now. All right, Paris, how can Joy Behar tell Senator Scott, a black man, that he doesn't understand racism? Thank you for having me. Good to be with you again. I will tell you this. Joy Behar is the last person in America who should be lecturing the black community and especially Senator Tim Scott on the issues of racism. But I guess because of the fact that she uh, wore blackface proudly as an adult means that she knows a little bit of something about racism. Ultimately, what Senator Tim Scott's inspirational uh, message to the American people uh, did was be, he was honest. And that's what we want. We want honest and transparency. We want people that are able to connect and, and, and tell his story. His story is the quintessential American story. He acknowledged the fact that there's times in his life where he's experienced racism. I experienced racism all this week. I spent the better part of my morning sending tweets, reports to Twitter, trying to get them to, to deal with some of these racist things that are said about me for supporting Senator Scott. But I will tell you this. Our founding fathers understood in our founding documents that this country was going to be founded upon freedom. They understood that everybody I, I was going to be created you, equal. Paris, this is interesting. This is interesting. It took Twitter 11 hours to take down the racist posts posted against Senator Scott. Racist posts were posted about you. Ha have they taken them down? Are they still up? Why didn't they take them down immediately? That is a question that big tech has to answer. Twitter is irris being irresponsible in this, in this nature. When we first saw the tweets here at the RNC, I put out a tweet and immediately uh, our chairwoman, uh, Ronna McDaniel, retweeted it, uh, denouncing it. Uh, the RNC uh, uh, G uh, Twitter pages, GOP, uh, denounced it, retweeted it. We saw it. We called it out. But Twitter left it up. The tweets that have been attacking me, they're still up there. And I don't know why. But they need to be serious about this. If this had been said or done towards liberals, they would have a different story. But because sure, this is being why. done to black conservatives, yeah. they give it a pass. Paris, uh, you know why those posts are still up there. They don't, you know why. Because Twitter has it out for any conservative and any black person who strays from the Democrat fold. That's why those posts are still up there. And I think it's absolutely outrageous. I I'm sorry, I've got I'm out of time, but I've got to move on real fast here. President Trump, former President Trump says, told Maria Bartiromo, he's 100% considering running again in 2024. Would you join his campaign if he did run in 2024? <laughs> Well, right now, I'm happy being at the RNC and we have to remain neutral, but I will tell you this. Whoever is going to be our nominee is going to be someone who puts America first and is going to have a, a, a tremendous opportunity because of the gains that President Trump did make with our party, growing our party, making our party more divorced and more united. And so I think the America first agenda is going to be adopted by any one of our nominees and the RNC is going to be committed to making sure that we all not only win back the White House, but we win back the House and the Senate for the Republicans. So you're for Trump's policies, but at this point, you cannot tell us where you are for Trump, the man himself. Understood, Paris. Understood. We got it. Paris Denard, it was always great to see you back again. Don't be a stranger now. Come again soon.